All right, so here's my muddy load, guys. I've got copper on there, I've got brass on there, and a whole rock of steel. Steel that I picked up from uh, I pick up on Friday, guys. There it is. So a couple furnaces, and I'm heading. I'm at the road now. Almost forgot to show you. All right, so it's a brand new spanking day, and here it is, Wednesday, guys. We had rain yesterday, and we had rain on Monday, so I only got one small loaded on Monday. And uh, I did some pickups yesterday. Well, uh, just garage, just more or less. Picked up some scrap stuff, but it's more aluminum over there, as you can see. But no, that's not why I got the trailer, guys. That was yesterday stuff. I finally threw it off this morning. But yeah, now that it's just a little windy, a little breezy day, which is gorgeous day, actually. The sun is out. No rain! I'm loving it, guys. Oh, I've had enough rain. We've had rain for two days straight. It makes it impossible to get stuff cleaned up outside in the yard. So... Today is a beautiful day, and of course I had a pickup because I got a text saying, hey, got a load of air conditioners. Yes, guys, another load of air conditioners. So we're going to process these today, and we're going to try and get uh, half the loads, I guess. We're going to try and get the copper. No, we're going to try, well, try to dismantle. Let's just say that. We're going to try and get them all apart today, guys. Once I get them all out and all everything off them and stuff, we're going to move on and maybe throw a load of the compressors the motors uh what else has got to go in town oh well, i probably don't know if I, I don't know if i'll get the rads cut off or not today depends on how my back feels after taking them all apart we'll see you guys but anyhow let's just see what's on the truck we got some stuff on the truck too guys oh look what's on the truck how about that guys oh yeah we got some number on number one on there guys look at all that number one there's some number two on there too some pipe there it looks like it came off maybe a hot water tank or something i don't know but there's a lot of number one on there a little bit of wire on there too but yeah not bad at all a little bit of steel i just threw on there because they off of some stuff they had in there and they wanted it to go so i take it all no complaints steel and steel and stall steel money guys but anyhow so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be working on this this afternoon get all these taken apart you know i gotta take all these screws out all these little dainty screws got to come out so um will i get these apart today um we'll see how the day goes so they can go in a bucket and go in tan with the other motors we'll see probably they probably will go today more than likely i'll probably get them all done guys oh excuse me guys oh yeah i'm up since early this morning no rain so i'm happy like i said to start my day with no rain so i'm gonna work on getting these process and get them off the road here because that's my motivation put them on the road and i don't gotta worry about it because i put them on the road then i know i'm gonna clean them <laughs> <laughs> I know it's crazy you guys but anyhow there they are guys that's the uh, the load for today so we're gonna get these off get them processed get load out and tomorrow we'll load probably the steel on the copper on the number one copper because I get uh, more of the other yard so all that copper will be going in a bucket once I clean it and process it uh, and all this stuff and the other copper will go on the next day so we're just gonna put in a garbage can process it and have it ready for the following day along with the copper that comes out of this and the brass so until I get more money at the other yard where I'm not taking this stuff the steel I get more at the other yard again I get $250 um, a ton for steel and then my copper I get more up there than I do it's almost like it's almost a dollar's difference guys between the yards I mean that's ridiculous I know it's crazy but what are you gonna do right you gotta call around you gotta get the best prices you can get and that's what I can get for my my area and I'm not driving two hours somewhere two hours another way when I don't have the time of the day to do it I barely have enough time to process stuff and get it out. So, but anyhow, enough yammering. I better get to work. Got lots to do. All right, so there's all the number one guys. I got this in the back of my truck. Not a bad little jag, actually, guys. Free copper. And then this was a little bit I had to cut off. Let's see what I had to cut for number two. So, not bad. Those off those pipes I had on the truck. As you can see, all it's on there now. It's just a couple pieces of metal. It's got to come off. I haven't got up there to get them. But not bad. So, now I'm going to start in the air conditioners. Went in and had lunch with my mom and uh, had some tea with my mom and I figured I'd, uh, well, it was an early lunch for me, so, and breakfast, because I didn't have breakfast this morning. I had breakfast, lunch all together, so, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to get back at it. I brought my saw up because I wanted to cut the big pieces of copper up because the wool cutters don't cut up the big, big pieces that are in here. As you can see, I just cut them off. So I threw them in here. This is all number one. This is, doesn't have solder on. Hang it doesn't have solder on, goes in here. This is number one. Solder, screws, anything like that, guys. That's all considered number one in case you're new to it. But most of my people that watch my show know my videos. They know that anything that's got uh, like that, some call that bright. I don't call it bright. It doesn't matter to me if it's bright or not. I think there's even some wire in there too, guys. Somewhere I think it was in there. Too. But it was all in the back of my truck. That's what I got for free this morning from the uh, uh, the air conditioner place that I picked up. So I'm bringing out these. 
And I think these guys, I don't know if these guys have seen me do these ones or not. They're not hard. All you do again, take all the screws out of them. So as you can take my drill, move around and start dismantling them. Uh, what I do is I take the lids off the tops of them and all the way around. Is that a spider? I got a spider. That maybe it was a tick. As long as it's not a tick. I see the ticks are getting bad again. I put stuff on my dogs, make sure that they, uh, they're tick free. I don't need to bring them in the house, so. But anyhow, I gotta get back at this, guys. I see this chunk, blue chunk of copper on here, guys. Look at that. There's more copper right there. Oh, yeah. Some more copper, guys. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Well, I better get my button gear, guys. I wanna get this done and get it out. Get the uh, compressors and the motors out today. And maybe the rads, if I can get them cut off, start about the saw up. So, better get to work. All right, so I got them all done, guys. I got uh, all the air conditioners completed. As you can see, all the compressors are on there. There's uh, all six of the compressors. So, yeah, my back kind of hurts. And then those, and the blue box is all the small ones. And then all the other fan motors are in there, too, underneath the uh, air conditioners, rads. So, yeah, we got one really, really big one down in there. Oh, she's heavy, guys. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to put my tools away here in a bit. So, we're going to, here's the copper. So, I even did all the noodles out of the, out of the rats when I got them. So again, ooh, good little chunk. We got that copper, and we got that copper going tomorrow. Ooh, yeah. And then we got all the other. The only bad thing was about this, this, this lot of air conditioners, one of them was an aluminum copper rad, guys. So that kind of sucked. So I'll get less for that, because it only runs about, I think I might get like 60 cents, I think, a pound for them. So... Nothing compared to what I'm getting for the other rads, that's for sure. But anyhow, all this is all clean up. This goes on the next load for the steel. This is all going out. All this will be going on the steel, and then the copper, and the copper, the other bin, and then my brass is over there. I didn't get a lot of brass because, you know, there's only... There's one piece I got left to clean down here yet. See? That's all I got for brass. And that was off of everything. So, But it's all done. Woo! So I just got to come back. I just got to throw the uh, steel back on. I gotta put my tools away yet, guys, and I'm done. I'm done for the day. This is my load going in. It's like, uh, I think it's like 2.30, 2 o'clock maybe. I don't know. Something like that. Wasn't that too long? My back's starting to bother me though, so I'm, I'm glad I'm done. I'm glad I'm done doing this, like taking this stuff apart. I don't mind loading this stuff. This is the easy stuff. I can come back and rest and load this before dark. So then all I gotta do is get up tomorrow morning, get up and leave and take this load out and then come back. And I think we're gonna get rid of this aluminum here too. It's gonna go in the next, so I might get two loads out tomorrow. Because the aluminum I get good prices up there for, so we might be going tomorrow. I think I get 70 cents. Yeah, I get 70 cents for that stuff. Or 60, you know, 60 cents for that stuff goes with the rad. So that rad's gonna go with that stuff. And then we're gonna throw on some other siding I think I got laying around too. So we're gonna make it a load. And plus the copper and all that too, with the first load. So we're gonna make a couple loads tomorrow too, if we can. Because I didn't have to pick up today and then all this taken apart. So but anyhow, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.